Okay, I'm with my friend, uh, friend Graham McDonald, and uh, today we've hiked down from the top of Trout Lake Road. We're on the uh, Porpoise Bay side of Trout Lake Mountain, and we're checking out this old steam donkey. Um, it's fairly large. It's probably it's about three times, four times the height of Graham. It's quite a big beast in its day there. You can see the front fairling still sitting on the skids. What a large, large, one of the bigger donkeys I've seen. And we're just going to kind of cruise around and just so you can get a kind of look at what this thing was all about. Quite massive. It's got the drums on it and all the mechanisms. It was built at uh, the Empire uh, Manufacturing Company, built it in Vancouver. And uh, we'll just kind of go a little closer. You can see what I'm talking about with some of these giant drums and teeth and gears. and Things scary looking. It looks like it would bite you if you weren't careful. But, uh, there you go. It says Vancouver Empire Manufacturing Company Limited. So this stuff was all built right in Vancouver. Specifically for West Coast logging. And uh, that's the business end of it there, the actual motors, steam motors. And from what I've heard, when they were pulling these logs up, that uh, sometimes the logs would be coming up out of the valleys at like 50 miles an hour, if you can believe it. Just highballing. So it's a vertical fire tube boiler doors miss there that's where you would stoke it and there'd be a cleanup box right below there so, but, to give you an idea how large this thing is it just keeps going up into the trees there the thing is just giant but this is how they logged the west coast this is actually modern logging on the west coast when they first started. The bit, first logging would have been with uh, oxens and mules and whatnot. Um, normally these would probably have a um, tin roof on them, which you can see the tin over there in the bush. There's, yeah, it's all over the place. There's chunks of it here and there. But uh, someone tried to salvage this and when they were pulling it out of the off the side hill here they kind of ripped the, the roof off. I'm just kind of work my way around here. This is uh, hard to tell but this timber and whatnot here that would have been the framing for the roof that used to cover these things. Just keep the elements off the guy working in it. Okay, this was oil cup. See, Graham? Grease cup. It's a grease cup. Oh, okay. Cool. This unscrews from here? Yes. Now it would have been screwed into wherever the whatever need greasing. You unscrew this, you fill this cup full of grease, screw it on, and every now and then you get, crank it down another turn or something. Oh, and you give a little shot of grease? Yeah. Not That's... sure where it came from, just down mm -hmm. on the ground here. Yeah. Yeah.